looking at the uh, clutch pedal uh, on my Defender 130 you can see that that seal has been weeping for quite a while you can see the paint's all lifted off and you see where it's been running down here look look at it damn it all paint just comes off I'll have to repaint that again but it just it peels off when they've got brake fluid it's terrible stuff so looks like we're gonna to have to change this cylinder but first of all we've got to go and have a look and see if we've got one in stock right so I actually have a TRW one in a genuine one they used to be girling but you know funnily enough they look awfully Chinese but the box said made in the EU Yeah, it's got, do you know, it's got, it just looks Chinese. You know, that finish. Still, let's have a quick look inside and see if it's greased up. Nope. <laughs> no wonder they don't last day. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same again as we did with Michelle's. Now, really, I would have liked to put the Michelle's type one that's got a remote reservoir, and you'll see why in a minute when I open the bonnet up. Now I'm just going to move the camera a bit. First of all I've got to take the spare wheel off and this is one of the uh, well the spare wheel support that I cobbled up so it's all right but it has its advantages you'll see in a minute. Air wheels on bonnets are great ideas until you have to take them on and off. Drop it onto your winch. An ideal time to check if the tyre's up. I could never understand why the Land Rover didn't put tyre valves on the inside of the rims as well. So when they're on the bonnet, you can check the tyre pressure. Crazy old world then. You can see what my, uh, let's have a, let's have a zoom. You can see my tyre support is actually a rear tyre support, but I cut it down a bit. <laughs> So why did I make my tyre support like that? It doesn't hit the windscreen. <laughs> my friend Mike had a tyre tyre rack like that, and first time he opened, you know, like the proper one with the big studs and things like this. You know, it's got like three big studs. Oh, really? Like it? Rather like? Uh, can you see it? Rather like that one on my one. 10 GM put the bloody thing straight through the window now uh, let's see I want this camera out the way but I want you to see see I have got on there oops a bit too zoomy a Discovery 2 uh, brake booster and master cylinder. Well, that's not a big problem, but because I've got the I, <laughs> because I've got the Isuzu in, I've got to move the coolant pipes because I need to take that out and twist it. Now, the reason why I put that in was to, you know, if you need to take it out, um, I thought it would be small so it wouldn't hit the turbo because we're preciously close. Because what we've got to do first of all is take off. The master cylinder, move it out the way, and then 
we can go inside under the floor and take off the six bolts that holds the brake tower on, take off the wire off the back for the switch, twist and turn. However, I don't think that's going to work. I don't think it's going to work. So what I'm going to do... Um, I don't know. I never planned on taking it off. I always carry brake fluid and um, ATF. Um, 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 um. I think to make access easier, I'm going to take my horn bracket off and I'm going to take the wing support off. Uh, move that out of the way, take these pipes off there, they're kind of warm and um, see how we go on. So let me go and get some tools. Fortunately the hose is flipped over really nice, like I almost were, was intentional. I put the horn inside here and you know I never get problems with the uh, water in the horn it's a waste of time. Um, I'm going to mention something later for our Australian viewers or somebody who knows about Isuzu's because I would like to put a better turbo on this because I don't like it. It hasn't got a wastegate on it. It seems a waste of time. <laughs> now I need to get to uh, take those wires off there. Take that screw off there. Now I need to get a socket to get the brake cylinder off. And now we can pull off the master cylinder. There's a vacuum gun. And because we've got the beauty of Cuny for pipes, we can move it out of the way. Next we take off the vacuum pipe. Then with a bit of luck we can get underneath and take off the uh, six bolts holding the tower on. We have to take the tower off because you can probably see if you guys aren't familiar with left hand drives well now you are let me move this it's tucked right tight into that corner look can you see it? Now you can see, you can understand why I wanted to put a remote uh, filler on it. Right, let me go and get a socket and we'll pull that off. Right, I've got the bolts undone. Will it come out? Well, first of all, we've got to take the wires off. Struggle on trying to do this cylinder in the car, I don't can't imagine why. Anyway. Oh yeah, that's been leaking a while. In fact I think it's been leaking more from me topping it up than enough. So what I'm gonna do is once this is finished, I'm gonna take the power wash off this and wax this to be to the bejesus. 
So the next thing I've got to take off is the uh, cylinder. That's a half yeah. inch. So brake fluids are terrible stuff. This has done, wait a minute, check, I'll tell you. This has done 709 hours. I have an hour meter in the truck, but you can see how the paint's pulled off that. You know, we've got fluid everywhere. But I'm not sure whose make it is. I'm sure I put a girl in one on. But I'll tell you what I might do. I've got a cunning plan. I'll take this to pieces. I'll go in the bench. We'll go on the bench. We'll take this off. We'll have a look inside and see what the seal's like. So I've got the, I've got the cylinder out of the uh, unit. It was a very, I tell you something, they're usually half inch. This was uh, 14 millimeter nuts. I don't know, I've never seen that before. Anyway, enough about that. Let's take it apart and see what it's like. I am not expecting anything for too fancy and it's got a really weird circlip on it. Do you know something? If you look at that seal you wouldn't think there was all that much wrong with it would you? Weird that isn't it? I'm going to put this through the washer and we'll have a look and see what uh, what the bore's like. So, uh, you won't be able to see very well in here. In fact you perhaps won't see at all. But there are some very light scores up and down the bore. All right. But you could hone them out. I took the uh, 109 cylinder, you know the one we took off? I took that off but that's really bad inside. But it could it could uh, clean up. But well, one of the interesting things I wanted to show you was the difference between the pistons. This one is out of my truck. That looks pretty standard um, Lucas Girling, whatever you want to call it. But this one is out of the 109. Let's do a comparison of the seals. See, it's a completely different thing. And look at the end here, it's got a metal cap and that's got a plastic one. Not that it makes any difference. We must inspect the end seals here to see if there's any cuts or splits. Yeah, the, the, the rubber on this one here is extremely soft. And this one's a bit harder. Um, look very closely at the piston and you can see the scores. You see that? You look at this one, all you can see is rust. Hmm. So, could we use that as a good spare? Yes. That's the sort of thing that I'd fix up with a new seal kit and carry it in the truck for days like today. You know, like your side of the road you could fix it. But I would still like one like this next time because this type is an absolute bugger to fill up under the wing because when the bonnet's open you can't quite get to it you know you, you, that's why you end up pouring fluid down the side so I've painted I've, I've blasted and painted the tower 
Uh, that's all got runs and stuff like that in it. It doesn't really matter too much. But what I'm going to do, wait a minute, you can't see me, can you? What I'm going to do, like this bird's eye view, <laughs> what I'm going to do is put it together in the morning and then reassemble that tomorrow. Mm -hmm.